want to have boat with me? Boat. 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 The way children are learning how to read is changing in Stillwater Area Public Schools. There's a little more singing and wiggling, a whole lot more tapping, and a cast of animated characters to help along the way. And while it looks like a lot of fun, the experts will tell you there is some serious science behind all the smiles. They need multi-sensory. You saw us touching our fingers, touching our arms, moving our arms up and down to hear sounds. The way kids learn and need to learn to read is really the way that we're doing it now, um, focusing on the foundations of reading. These are our youngest learners. We don't want them to just have a sit and get um, education where a teacher is just drilling letter names and letter sounds at them. That's not how our students learn. They really learn through play. And um, through play, through letter land, through the characters, we're exposed to, um, you know, clever cat is already starting with that C sound. Learning to read doesn't happen by accident. It's actually a pretty complicated process. All closed syllables have what type of vowel? Short. Short vowel. What should you add to your A? Abreve. Add a breve to the top. And as researchers have learned more about the science of reading in the past decade, teachers across the school district have been learning too. In the past, I used to teach clues or cues to give kids like, look at the picture to see what the word might be. What I've learned is that every time I've told kids to look at the picture, I've robbed them of one experience to decode a word. And we know that brains make patterns, and the more they decode a word, the more they will recognize it. Um, so that's really what's changed is like the research has changed, and um, when we know better, we do better. Teachers in kindergarten, first, and second grade have adopted different strategies to encourage kids to understand letter sounds and see how different letters work together to make words. Educators know this as phonemic awareness, the ability to identify and manipulate individual sounds. Letters are T H, sounds are th or Children are introduced to phonemes, which are the smallest parts of the word, through books, songs, and games. Teachers are intentional about working with kids in small groups and one-on-one -on -one to make sure they really understand the concepts, know the letter sounds, and master the foundations of reading. Say pan, pan. Already teachers say the change to phonics-focused instruction is paying off. Kids are excited to learn to read, test scores are on the rise, and the love of reading is spreading across the district. Spot the difference. I love it. It's so exciting. Um, teaching kindergarten is so exciting anyways because they are like sponges. They really soak up all that I teach. But teaching them to read and write is really a gift, and it's a right. All children deserve to be taught how to read and write, and that's my job.